So I think the first thing that we need to do is we need to realize that we need to draw what we want to do up. So here was my little uh, sketch that I did before I made that plan there that you can see. You can see also that I decided later I was going to uh, make the deck round. Now in this sketch I've got everything we need uh, really to go on. I've shown the overall shape of the little house that I'm designing. I've shown that it's divided into three spaces, a living, well there's actually four, there's a deck, a living, um, a bedroom and a bathroom. And then I've estimated the uh, dimensions that I should be using. So look it's pretty rough but that's all you need. It is important that you do estimate all of the dimensions before you start. So it's not drawn at scale but it's it's drawn uh, as quite roughly schematically but I do have all the information on there. I'm showing that it's five meters wide that my external walls are 200 millimeters thick which makes it 5,400 meters millimeters across. I am showing here that the bulk of the house is 6,400 millimeters long plus the deck of 3,000 that that external window is 100 wide, again 100 for that internal wall, uh, 100, uh, sorry, 1 meter for that passage space, 2 meters for the bed and the bathroom, and 200 for the exterior wall. So once you know exactly what you're going to design, you're ready to start working in Illustrator. So the first thing I need to do is note the dimensions of the house that I've worked out. I've added dimensions here. Uh, I need to make a rectangle the size of the overall size of the house. So it's 5,000 millimeters long and 2,500 wide. Let's call up the calculator. You might be able to do this in your head. 5,000 divided by 50 equals 100. Call up the rectangle tool. 100 divided by, or sorry, by 2,500 divided by 50 equals 50. So let's try that rectangle there. That matches. Good. So I'm going to bring in some guides. I think it's important to use guides at all times. You're going to need them once you start aligning parts of your house. Move that out of the way now. I've got the guide set up. Alright, so we know that the walls we need are 200 thick. So, let's see what that looks like. 200 divided by 50 equals 4. So we need a wall thickness of 4. I'm going to create out of this block I'm going to create a wall to go right down that end there. So I note that I've got the uh, constrained proportions unlocked. I'm going to create four here and there's my wall. I'm going to bring that wall in where it's supposed to be. You can see that coming all the way down there. I now need a bottom wall so shift option lets me drag that down to duplicate it. I need to know what size this part of the wall is. So that's 900 is from there to there. So let's again go 900 divided by 50 equals 18. So here's where I need, I just use blocks to help me. Let's create that at 18. 
slide that up there zoom in and pull another guide at 18 duplicate this wall spin it around holding shift make sure I get it dead right and place that in place zoom in pull it down here make sure everything's right okay see how we're looking now we now need a wall at the other end but it's actually going to be a window <clears throat> so there we have the basis of the house actually we do need an internal wall so let's make that right now copy this one we know that an internal wall is half the thickness so let's make that two millimeters an internal wall should be filled either nothing or with white and could have a stroke of black and I'm going to make that 0.5 of a point when you are copying a drawing it's really easy if you use guides to help you not exactly sure where I'm supposed to put this yet but let's get it in the right height anyway and <coughs> shift option to duplicate that I'll probably come back to that dimension later but let's put it in place now okay whereabouts is it it's 900 plus 2300 so that's 3200 from the end 3200 divided by 50 equals 64 so I need to make my rectangle 64 now which is there bring that into the correct place pull a guide and exactly where I've guessed is not that bad there we have it don't forget to save as you go now I've got a little nib wall on here that I wanted to show you the reason why I'm doing this I think I've got it at whoops sorry about that I think I've got it uh, let's copy over here and just measure it I've just come in a bit that is at yeah it's at 10 millimeters long so I'll just spin that back over here again just want to show you when you have two bits like this what do you do you need to make one wall out of this activate Pathfinder and just group them together or you join those shapes okay we've got the basis of our plan done uh, except I've forgotten that that comes in here we could use Pathfinder to join these black shapes but I don't really need to at the moment it's time to start making a door here to make a door I know that a door is supposed to be 820 wide so I'm going to say 800 divided by 50 equals 16 so I know that my door needs to be 16 millimeters wide across there I'm going to select the ellipse tool and because I need to make 16 millimeters radius I'm going to make 32 by 32 as a circle we'll zoom in on that and I'm going to unfill the circle I'm going to give it a whoops I'm going to give it a black stroke and I'm going to make that stroke very fine I like to zoom right in on it bring in a couple of guides so you know what's going on activate the guides again and I'm going to cut this using the scissor tool press V and I'm going to delete that section you might need that section for later but I think I'm going to delete it now 
bring in a new line and make that line fairly thick. Group that, Command G or Control G on a PC, and there I have my door. Okay, so my doorway, I'm not sure how wide I made that. Let's go back here and just measure it quickly. My doorway is going to be, I'll just transfer that straight over to here. Doesn't really matter exactly what the dimensions are. So, activating the guides again, I need to set that up. I need to bring that wall back in. I need to duplicate it over to here. I need to place the door in position. And place that wall in position and pull this wall back to the end. Okay, time to start thinking about windows. A window. A window is drawn as an exterior wall with a fill, a fill of white and a stroke of black. White and a stroke of black. Let's get that right. Uh, one point might be okay. It might be a little bit heavy. We'll wait and see. Then the glass is represented. Let me switch that off. The glass is represented as a line. Now that it can be represented as a double line. Uh, it depends on how complicated you want to get. If you did represent it as a double line, you would use a very much lighter stroke. I've grouped that so it's together. I can now place that window in position and make it the right length for me. There, hitting it back with the nudge keys. I've got a couple of windows on this side up here. Using shift for rotate. Let's pull these back here. Now we know that the windows are 1000 so I guess that that's 20. 20 wide, is that right? Yep, that's right. One window happens there and it's 300 away. 300 divided by 50 equals 6 so I need a space of 6. Let's just use, the well we'll use one of these chunks here as a space of 6. Pull up, zoom in again. Uh, bringing a guide on my window. Let's put that there. Shift Option or Shift Alt copies the window again. Alright, so I'm pretty much there now. Lastly, I need to make um, the roof section. Let's do that now. I know it's 500 away from uh, the walls, right? So 500, I guess that's 10. So let's go 10 by 10. Place that in position and I'm going to simply use some guides. to get 10 millimeters, snapping to the wrong place there, 10 millimeters around the building, let's get that in the right place, nudging with the arrow tools, And there we have it. I'm going to pull a rectangle over that space. 
I'm going to say that it has no fill and it has a stroke plus we need a dashed line I'm gonna make a two point it should be a thin dashed line to indicate a roof there's the basis of the roof let's pull a guide at the center of of the roof holding shift uh, I might use the pen tool holding shift and click I can bring a line in there press V then press P again to activate the pen tool holding shift until the smart guide hits the center I can come in like that grab the line tool for the middle of the gable so that's the plan done at a scale of 1 to 50 so just finishing off you saw the way I used rectangle tools to set up uh, dimensions rectangle tools to make the walls I used Pathfinder to unite that area there I've forgotten to put in the door let's put that door in there now you can spin the door around holding shift I'm hoping that that'll go into the right place just like that then the roof overhead is indicated by a dotted line in part two of the video I'm going to show you how to create an elevation Thanks for watching.